What's up, everybody? Uh, yeah, that... I'm really obsessed with sharpening now. Um, I told myself I was going to leave my... my katanas alone. But, uh... I still have this bad boy. So... <laughs> touch this up. Again. Took it down to a thousand grit. It's pretty sharp. Now, when I first started knife throwing, I was really into swords, never bought a sword, got super addicted to knife throwing. And I work at a sign shop and we do a lot of vinyl wraps of vehicles and whatnot. And those vinyl wraps come in with cardboard tubes. Some of them are very thick, very thick. Now I don't necessarily want to cut with my katanas, but the Datanuki, it's so heavy. It's kind of a purpose-built sword, you know, it weighs 3.2 pounds. And uh, I know that cardboard damages the edge, blah, blah, blah. So I have different cardboard tubes here. This one's about an eighth inch thick, not too bad. This one, however, is about a quarter inch, maybe close to 5 sixteenths, and then I have another one that's definitely 5 sixteenths, if not a little thicker. They're hard. So, if I can't, this is gonna be my first time doing anything like this. Um, so if I can't get through these with the machete, which I'm not too confident I can, I may go inside and grab the Datanuki. Let's see what happens. We'll start with the thinnest one and then work our way up. Wow, pretty impressed, really. You know, it didn't cut super clean, but it cut, I mean, I'm not really sure what to expect. I mean, maybe it will leave these frayed edges since it's so dry. Gee, that's pretty cool. expect that okay that was the thinnest one moving on up I'm not too surprised that could have been my my form it twisted slightly you know this thing is pretty flexible so let's try again it's pretty thick you, the grind on this thing is funny if you look down down the edge if you can see that kind of it's not even uniform. I need to completely regrind this thing or whatever. Not that I really care too much. But, yeah. I mean, when you're going through it at an angle, that thing gets thick. So, yeah. This one's about a quarter inch thick. So, the katana machete is not quite so, not a match for the heavier stuff. 
Should I get out my Datanuki? I don't know. Maybe once? Nah, fuck it. I'm gonna go get it. I got another tube the exact same thickness. So. Alright, here we go. I'll be right back. I've been watching my. My dad takes care of my other dog for me. So I got her out here now. Roxy. Ghost face killer. You guys want to see? That's why I call her Ghost face killer. She's getting pretty old. Okay. Datanuki time. Yes, I'm going to watch out for my dog. There's the thickness. Interesting. I really thought it would go. That's fucking thick, dude. Hard to imagine that that's harder than bamboo. It's definitely not trying the thicker one, that's for sure. You know, it's, I don't know if you count that or not. I mean, it's a part, that's for sure. I guess you got to count that, right? That's wild, man. That's some thick shit. It kind of dented it right there. I used my, my hips and my center of gravity and I drug down on it kind of, you know, drop my, drop my hips. So, anyway, that's a cool little experiment. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go inside and oil that sucker up, put her away. Thanks for watching. Full Tang Clan Danger out.